So there's a story of me that goes around about me getting banned from road racing because I had long hair. You know, I was 17 at the time. I was a junior. I was one of the top juniors in the district. And the district rep of the ABL of A, which was the predecessor to USCF, pulled me aside one day and said, Gary, your hair's getting too long. You gotta cut it. I said, what do you mean? I don't have to cut it. He said, yeah, you gotta cut it or you're not gonna be able to race. I said, I'm not gonna be able to race because you're not letting me have my hair the way I want it? It was ridiculous. Me being principled, I left. I said, forget it. I migrated across the bay, I went to the Hate ashbury I was living across the street from the Grateful Dead. I started doing light shows because that was something I could really do. I loved optics, photography, film, and mechanics, putting stuff together. And I did that for a few years, and it was killing me, you know, because the nightlife and the lack of real exercise at doing something, I got back into riding again, you know, and racing. Uh, by that time, a guy in Berkeley with long hair had taken the Federation to court and had that rule thrown out. And I came back and raced. It was the happiest thing I ever did. I love riding my bike. And I'm so happy. 30 years later, we're back doing road bikes and doing it, well, my way. I got some ideas to make life easier and more fun and have a super fast bike at the same time. You know, I really believe that you've got to have the right equipment that really works and takes care of your every need and problem. And that could be one bike. And that's what I'm going to present for you here. Designing the best handling road bike out there? It started with the Fisher Control Column. This is a completely reconceived steering column that produces the stiffest, most confidence-inspiring front end available on a road bike. Put it this way, with the FCC, the bike gets a little closer to reading your mind. Up top, we gave it an E2 head tube for more stiffness and precise steering. It's got a wide stance fork that dramatically reduces deflection for improved cornering that you'll notice. Then, the FCC hub has wider, taller flanges and outboard J-bend spokes for a stronger bracing angle between hub and rim for a stiffer wheel. Finally, larger 25 millimeter end caps create rock solid connection between fork and wheel. We have brought our Genesis geometry to the road. We took painstaking steps to properly place the rider on the bike. How'd we do it? With fork rake and trail. This bike has three unique fork offsets to maintain consistent trail figures without adjusting head angles and compromising handling. With stack, there is a consistent 20 millimeter increase in head tube stack measurement with each size. With reach, there is six millimeters of additional reach with each size increase. Once we got the geometry dialed, we turned our attention to utility with the goal of compromising nothing. Not performance, not aesthetics, nothing. Massive tire clearance allows you to run 28 millimeter tires or 25 millimeter tires with full wrap fenders thanks to our vanishing fender mounts. There is external cable routing for convenience and a standard 27-2 seat post for maximum comfort. So handling, geometry, and utility are dialed. But how does it perform? The stiffness to weight ratio of this bike is off the charts. We found the sweet spot, making this both one of the stiffest and one of the lightest road bikes on the market. With massive tubes, yet still only 900 grams for a 56 centimeter frame. It's light enough to climb like a champ and stiff enough to sprint for the win. A no holds barred high end road bike with performance, comfort and versatility. So go ahead, throw one into a corner and see for yourself why Fishers are the best handling road bikes out there.